Well, MIM opened in 2010, and of course, shortly after that, uh, Arizona's centennial was approaching, and it made perfect sense for MIM to create a special exhibition that would honor Arizona's first 100 years of music. And so that was the basic idea for the exhibition. And uh, the exhibit opened to the public in February, and it closes this coming January. The exhibit begins uh, with a look at various Native American traditions, which of course predate statehood, but also have continued throughout statehood and have morphed into various styles uh, and genres of music. So throughout the course of the exhibition, you can experience representation of very old Native American traditions and very new ones that employ modern electronics and recording studios and so forth. Uh, and then, of course, beyond that, uh, in the early days of Arizona, we have representation of uh, the state songs, the early state song, and the state song that is Arizona's second state song added in the 1980s. Uh, there's the Phoenix Indian School Band. There are various early performers of Western-influenced uh, country music. There are great jazz musicians that have come out of the state. Uh, the early days of rock and roll are represented. Of course, Canyon Records, who is very important uh, in the promotion of contemporary Native American music. And several artists, rock artists, pop artists, um, the father of Chicano music, Lalo Guerrero, mariachi musicians, Waida musicians from the Tejano Atham Reservation. Uh, and we have a very nice section of musical instrument makers. And in that section, you also can find a mix of Native American musical instruments and um, more standard types of musical instruments such as guitars and banjos and so forth.